Uh, now I'm going to call upon Shu Shu Zheng, who's going to talk about crowdfunding. She interned at Possible before becoming a permanent uh, fixture in the core team. Advising more than 1,000 projects, Shushu oversees provisions of assistance to hundreds of crowdfunding campaigns at a time as well as running dynamic workshops on the subject. Shushu studied media at RMIT University. RMIT, make some noise. Yes. <laughs> uh, at RMIT University and Moonlight as an editor. So crowdfunding is a really great way of making sure um, you, know, you are able to raise those funds without having to you know, take on a third job. Um, so basically, what is crowdfunding? Crowdfunding is, um, you know, getting a, a crowd of people to contribute a small amount of money and that money goes towards a project. Um, so in essence, it's a little bit like fundraising. Um, the difference is that with, with crowdfunding, um, you know, when you're raising money, it's, it's going towards... Uh, a definitive outcome rather than sort of an open-ended sort of project or appeal um, as well. Um, you know, you have a specific time frame to raise those funds and um, unlike fundraising um, with crowdfunding, when, when supporters give you money that for your project to, you know, become something big, um, you also offer them, you know, a, a reward as, as thank you, as a thank you. Um, so that could be something like a DVD copy of, of a film, um, you know, a, a meet and greet with the cast and crew, that kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, so what kind of projects are eligible for crowdfunding or with crowdfunding with Possible? Um, well, it's basically any project that has a very, you know, strong um, outcome. So filmmaking, film in general, is actually a very... It's our largest um, category... So, you know, you guys, if you've got a solid idea for a film, a TV show, a web series, documentary, a feature film, you know, they're all very eligible for crowdfunding. Um, Possible is a crowdfunding platform, so what that means is we, we are the website um, where we give you the tools to start your crowdfunding um, campaigns and, um, you, you, you know, you have your project hosted on our website. It's a lot, uh, it's a lot faster way of of um, you know getting funds for your project um, you know a lot of people use well a lot of people try to apply for grants and it, it can be a very difficult process especially when you're just starting out and crowdfunding is a really great way of raising those funds uh, a lot quick, quicker and also there's always opportunity to um, use crowdfunding to show grant bodies I've already raised a bit of money for my project and I've already generated all this interest for it and they're more likely to you know, read your application a bit more carefully and, and perhaps consider you guys for um, additional funding. Before you start your crowdfunding campaign, um, we, we always recommend you, you know, actually do some, do some homework, figure out what, our, what the rules are, so how much can you raise, how long can you run your campaign for, what are the service fees, all the, that sort of information is really crucial so you know what the rules are. So um, to answer some of those questions, you can raise as much money as you want, but we always recommend you go for the minimum amount you need to carry out the project. Um, so that makes it easier for you guys to raise the money. Um, research all the people you know who will help you with your project, um, people who you think will give you some money and also people who, who you think will, um, you know, share the project around with their own networks, especially people who are a little bit more influential than you are and ask them to help you out. Um, that will also factor in, you know, on how much uh, you set your target to as well. People aren't donating money to you. They're actually getting something back in return. Um, so, um, you know, rewards are really important, um, really important to, I guess, give people incentives to, to give money to your project. What was the most bizarre uh, crowdfunding? Oh, so many. Um, our most successful crowdfunding campaign is called uh, Patient Zero, um, and that was a real-life zombie shooter game where you go into a warehouse and pretend you're shooting zombies for a, some like science company or whatever. And that one raised uh, $243,000, and they set out to raise 10000 So that went nuts. Yeah, yeah. And that actually came down to the rewards because they they said you can only you can only play if you've got a team of six. So everyone was, you know, buying the, 
the, the reward where it had a team of six. So they, so people were pledging like $300 a pop. So that's that's how they managed to get there. Yeah. Uh, I've got two questions. One is, uh, how do you feed for crowdfunding? Like, does the script, is the script enough or do you like have to give a trailer? And secondly, uh, because crowdfunding is just a trailer, do you have to have a PR or can you just do it? Okay. Um, with your first question, it just depends on what you need the funding for. So um, with, with all crowdfunding projects, so let's say you need funds to, to pay for props, catering, location fees, all of that. So just all you need to do is create a project and you know list what the project's about and list why you need the money, that kind of thing. You can include a trailer if you can. Um, and we also recommend a video. The video doesn't have to be the trailer. It can just be you in the camera, to the camera, you know, talking about the project and getting people excited about it. Um, so yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's, it's very different to traditional funding where you, you are required to present this, that and that. Um, this is less formal, I guess. So yeah, it, like we've had projects who need funding for post-production only, others pre-production, so it, it varies. Yeah, and with your second question, you don't, you don't need PR, no. Well, I'll, I'll wrap it up, yeah. Thank you, everyone.